I want to say something about the last work we did here. So it uh, was leading us into another dimension of what it means moving with the spirit mind. Now, first of all, when I called him up here, I didn't ask him. I only know last night he came to me and said he was in trouble. But I said, I won't do anything. It has, it has to work in him. Now, when he came here and sitting next to me, and I was centered, being with myself, I heard his inner sentence. And I, I said that sentence to him. This is very often the case if we are in tune with something greater without any intentions. So I said that sentence. And after some time, he was taking a deep breath. So I saw it had reached him. And at the same time, I got the second sentence. Only then I got the second sentence. And I let him say this sentence. Better I than you. Now these two sentences, if I reflect now on them, actually show the essential problems within a family. That somebody says, better you than I. Mothers say that to their children, not here, by their behavior. And it's not in, in a way that they are really wanting that. But they are caught up in these sentences. And the children feel that and behave accordingly. They are ready to sacrifice themselves for the sake of their parents. And the solution is the opposite. Better I than you. And you can feel in yourself the strength behind that word. Once a mother or father say, better I than you, they gain strength, they regain their dignity, their greatness, and the child is free. And as I have mentioned before already, the sentence, I am here and you are there, and you stay there and I stay here, that's the basic solution. That's the end of all entanglements at the same time. And we could see that at the end of that constellation, when I took the representative of the boy out of all this and let him look this way, he felt wonderful. One conclusion. Nobody
can be entangled in a way we, we often behave and our clients behave if they are ready to take that step. I'm by myself. But they're not exactly by themselves. They are connected to something universal at the same time. And that is the solution. In this way, we go away from the entanglements, from the realm of conscience, and they step over a boundary and are in the realm of freedom, of direct connection with the spirit mind, with something greater. And of course, when we, many are here and uh, they want to do a constellation in a particular way, in the, in the hope they are set free by the constellation. And there are many issues, of course, where a constellation leads us into that other realm, and then we, f we feel the solution, we feel the happiness and the peace But I can, by myself, move away from the field of my family, drawn by a greater force beyond the limits of my family, and I'm connected there and moved there, and I am free. Free means here, I am free from, not free to. Because at that moment when we are caught up by a movement of the spirit, we are not free. We don't want to be free. What for? There can be no better guidance than being led by that spirit mind. Now, this was the beginning of that work. But we didn't know what to do. I didn't know. And Sophie didn't know. We just started with a representative. And it was not clear who the representative represented. We had, I had no fixed idea that it's perhaps a mother or somebody else, nothing, just a woman. And from her behavior, it was clear, she was looking to the floor, there must be somebody. And I saw two, that's why I chose two, not just one. When I'm in tune, I know that, what is appropriate. So I did that. Now, one representative, you, wanted to help. And at that moment, you obstruct the movement of the spirit mind in yourself and for the others. That I had to exchange you, you see. Later on, in the beginning, it was all right. But I had no idea how it would proceed. Then I chose a man to stand there, but not knowing who we should represent. I had no idea, and I had no purpose. So some of you might have thought I was representing, he was representing him, not for me. It was completely open. I just wanted to see what happens. See, in this way, we go beyond the boundaries of the family. We don't just deal with the members of the family. This is a far greater issue by far 
what happened here, you see. And we cannot fix it to particular persons, not at all. So we, we didn't do that, you see. And then he was looking high over there. So I chose him to stand on a chair to be very high. And he looked high. Now, if somebody looks like this, he doesn't look at, he looks away. And he took that movement also, going back, you see. So I, in order to protect him, I chose a man to, for safety's sake, you see, that he wouldn't hurt himself if he would fall back. And it was necessary that you were assisting there, you see. And then he came down slowly. And then he looked at the women. Very strange, uh, softly mentioned that to me. All the women were on the floor. All the men were standing. And I don't interpret it. It's just an observation. You could see that, you see. So uh, there was a certain empathy for the women here in us, you see. We had an empathy for that. But not in a way that we should intervene. Otherwise, we are again in the realm of conscience. But it was obvious, you see. Then I felt I must bring in the boy, the child. This was concrete. That was the only concrete person, you see. And we want to see what happens to him, you see. And later on, Sophie brought in the mother. But it seemed it was not her issue. So it didn't, it didn't bring anything new, you see, to have her there. And then, since the man here on the chair was looking in one direction away from those on the floor, I felt I had to choose somebody opposite where he was looking at. And I chose a woman, and while I was going there, I felt she must face him very straight, you see, there. And he was afraid. There was something murderous in that person that made men afraid. But who it is, we don't know. But uh, I told Sophie, when I look at her, the image was, I say that in German, the German word is very special, eine Engelmacherin, a woman who makes angels by aborting them. I made two angels. That was my image there. But we don't know. But that was the image there. That would explain the fear of the man and also of the child, of course. And then it was obvious We must not proceed. There the time had come to stop. There was no solution for anybody except the child. And that was good enough in a way, you see. It was good enough. Now, many, if they do a constellation, they're looking for a solution. 
Now, let's have an exercise of perception. Now, imagine we would have had a satisfying solution for everybody. And now you feel what does it help you? Does it make you greater? Connected with something bigger? Or does it you, does it cut you off from something bigger? Compared to the situation now where things are open. And now you compare the two feelings in yourself. Then you see if things are left as they are, without any regret, how much more, even more universal, how much greater the situation is for us. We are humble and at the same time connected to something else. Now you see, this kind of work demands a completely different attitude. And for us, as I mentioned before, it shows we are only at the beginning of a development when we go on trusting the movements of the spirit mind in the end. And you see how far beyond that goes to general ideas what you do as a psychotherapist, for instance, you see, or as a helper. Good as it is in many respects, I don't deny that. I have been helped by psychotherapy myself a lot, you see, I don't deny that. But if we reach that realm, we have to let go. And you also feel how much we grow personally by agreeing to let it be. But now I'll go back to <laughs> something ordinary, more or less, you see, you can never judge. Now, who wanted to work with me? I work with you. Yes. See, I tune in with him. I allow myself to get tuned in to him and his family, to the secrets, whatever there is. And now I'm ready. <laughs> my parents have two children, uh, me and my brother, who is six years younger than me. And uh, some I, I didn't get the beginning. Repeat it. Uh, my parents have two children, me and my brother. Children. children. Yes. Uh, me and my brother, who is six years younger. And sometimes, especially after you worked with me in Slovenia, I have a feeling that there is a child missing in our family. Uh, I suppose. It's okay. We... We know how to deal with that. It's something only recently we have seen how far reaching it is to know one's place. See, you feel somebody is missing, so you don't have your own place. You don't know what your own place is. 
you are the first one. You think you are the first one. You may not. And uh, so we do a simple exercise with this, you see. So you stand there. And we need a representative for his brother, I take you. Yes. Stand at his left side, you see. The counting goes from left to, no, from right to left, you see. You see, you see on his reaction, he's not in the right place, you see. No, no, remain standing, remain standing, don't move. We just do the, want to find out the correct place. Now from the movement we see, there must be somebody in between, you see. And uh, my image is it must be a woman. I take you. No, her. Yes, yes, you. No, no, the other one. You. <laughs> yes, yes. We stand in between. Must another one in between. Now you go in between. Stand up, stand up, don't be. We just do this it while people are standing. Take, take the microphone. Take a look to everyone. Now I 
pregnancy or of my child, my children. Now I see all of my children. Yes, I am here too. Yes, I am here too. Me too. Me too. Now she is laughing. She laughs. Before, she would like to go back. Um, not um, to see the truth. What's really going on, no? Did you understand it? Yes. I am the first. Say to her, I have her feelings. I have her feelings. But now I am here. But now I am here. And now I take my place. And now I take my place. She is relieved, no? I am the first. I am the first. I, I remain the first. I remain the first. And I am the second. I am the second. Those who can see her she becomes more life and loving now. I am the third. We are together. We are together. I am the fourth. We are the third. I am the fourth. Take place. Thank you. <laughs> Finally, we are together. Finally, we are together. I am also still here. I am also still here. Now I am agree. Now I agree. And now I can see you all. And now I see you all. I'm 
damals wollte ich dich nicht. Then I didn't want you. But now you are here. But now you are here. For me, you were always here. For me, you are always here, and you were always here. She's crying. Have a look to all of your brothers and sisters. And say, now we both are together. Now we both are together. And we both are together. We both are together. Now we all four are together. Now we all four are together. And we st stay together. And we will stay together. We don't know why the mother can't accept what happened here. She's standing here. So it's going to be Mom, you are my destiny. Mom, you are my destiny. Yes. You are my destiny too, Mom. Mom, you are my destiny too. Now I say yes. Now I say yes and thank you and thank you. And I am the second one. I'm the second one. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am.
You are our destiny. You are our destiny. Are you ready to do a hug in front of her? Little bit? No, only a little bit. Beautiful. And you too. It means to consent. Bow a little bit your head. What happened? We don't know what happened before. We cannot change the past. It's only, exist only the possibility to say now, yes. Mom, you are so beautiful. For me. For me. You are. She cannot go to her kids, no? Krista? Krista? behind her. Yes. Yes. Your grandma too, no? Mom, for you, I do everything. Mom, for you, I do everything. Thank you. Thank you. What's now? Are you ready now? Yeah. Stay a little. 
little bit like this. For you now? Not, not very good to me. For you? The same. And for you? It's better. It's okay. Thank you very much. I made once a very strange observation. Here also, no? The mother could not go to her children. She was drawn to her mother and she liked to help her mother. And her mother couldn't go to her. She was standing behind. And I didn't understand what's going really on. And one were a woman, and he said, my daughter is really sick, really sick. Now it's nearly to die. And then I put them here. And the daughter said, Mom, everything for you. And the real mother was standing there. And she was looking like this away. And she went back a little bit. And the ma uh, daughter, I let's say her to the mother, I die now. And the mother was standing like this, and I said to her, say yes. And she said, no, I don't say that. And I said, say yes. And she said, yes, yes. Really strong. And I stopped this constellation, and after, then she came to me and said, Now, I am nearly 50 years old, and I have had such a hard, strong, heavy life. And now it's a little bit better for me. And now I should die? No. No. And then I put five women, one in line to the other one, and I put all the kids, what they have trouble, or they are sick to the mother. And not one of the mothers said, better me than you. I say, feel it really. It's only for me to prove it for the other person. It's now to say, you or I. You or I. Feel it. And every one of these five women went back and said, no, I still remain alive. And she was looking, turned around. She was looking back. They couldn't see her own kids. It doesn't matter. They are sacrificed. But not in a bad way, no. But after them after more and more constellations, I could be completely agree without to save or to do anything. We don't know now by him what happened in the past in the mother's line. There must be something, you know? Yeah? See? Yes, there must be something. And here the two, I put only two from the past, two women, because for the two children, but Sure, it's not enough, no? But it's enough if the children now agree. If you agree and said, 
I remain only your child. And the mother becomes free, if you can say that, because she is also looking backwards. But she was a little bit, it was for you, better, no? When they were standing behind. So please don't have any intention to help in a constellation. If you are a representative, you would like to help them. We can completely trust, completely trust, if there is no any solution in the constellation, the greater force will find a solution. And we have not to force this, this greater force. Otherwise, the greater force will be thrown back. But if you trust and say, I trust this greater force, There will happen something. What's out our, which, which one is out of our control, out of your control, out of everyone's control. Then every person is guided by a bigger, greater, unknown, unbelievable force. And if we can give him to say, please, and then would draw us back, go backwards the constellator. There will be happen the best possible for you. And so we can trust, trust, trust. Don't force this greater force. That can be very dangerous for the constellator too. Can you imagine you to lend someone money. No? Take care. She doesn't have enough money. She goes to the bank account and pick up the money. And she cannot pay after them. Do you go to her and say, I pay now the money for you? You go between, no? In this material way, you wouldn't do. But this way is more dangerous if you go between and say, I will do it for you. It's impossible. You can trust the greater force. And if she has lent some money, she has to pay back. And if you did something wrong, you have to find the solution, not me. Therefore, the guilt, it's a big gift too. And from the guilt, you can say more, that's coming a big force too. If you agree, if you consent, if you say yes, never push the greater force. Never. Don't do that. Trust like he. Are you doing now? Much better, thank you. And of course, you tell your brother. You have to tell your brother. So, you will help him as well. Remain seated a little bit. Now, the right place is fundamental to our happiness and to our success. As soon as we are on the wrong place, we have no power. You could see it with him, you see, you had no power there. You were, you were shaking, you had, you had no strength, you see, because you were just on the wrong place. Not because of your fault, but you felt that you are on the wrong place. See? And afterwards, when you had your right place, you were full in your strength, as you are now, of course. Now, if there is a helper, for instance, a psychotherapist, 
and the client is coming, you see, to him and ask for help. And the helper says, yes, I will do that. Now, if you consider the field, the mental field of the client, at that moment, if somebody says, I help you, he's entering this field of the client. And where is his place in the field of the client? It's a very last place at the bottom. That is, that is his place. And how many helpers go in and say, I am here on the first place. And they even look down on the parents of the client, you see, and say, he had to have bad parents, and because they were like this, you are like this, and so on. Terrible what they do. The arrogance behind that is unbelievable, you see. And then they say, I do a family consolation for you. I make a family consolation for you, you see. Can you imagine what happens then? What happens to the client? What happens to the family of the client? And what happens to the helper at the same time? Now here, we demonstrate and show, and you go with us in a beautiful way to learn what it means to stay on the last play as a place as a helper. And therefore, we cannot mix up this approach with others, you see? And we could not invite other people who do family constellations to show their way of doing it here. Can you imagine that? Can I go to a congress where people come and showing their own way of doing and I stand side by side with them showing my little piece of doing family constellations as well? Isn't that crazy? That's why I don't go to congresses anymore. It's not my place. They have to come to me. Then they are at their right place, not before. And over the constellator, they now say, I make it better. And there are some. They don't come, now in the last year, but they come back now with a letter. Well, we don't have to expand on that. You, you know what the field is like. And uh, that's why we offer now this new kind of doing this work humbly and in accordance with the greater force, and we initiate you in this kind of work. And so we trust you will carry on this work, try to do it yourself, learn by it, and we want to offer an additional two trainings like this for you. So we think if three times you have participated in this kind of learning, you will be able to do it on your own. And we support you. We will support you. And we also envisage at the end when you have done this three times, we give you a diploma where we say, yes, you have trained in the new way of doing this kind of work. And uh, you belong to our family, to our network, and of course we put your names in our homepage too. So this is a new generation 
of doing this kind of work. And the next two weeks of doing this work will be in the same place. So you can look forward to that. And we will admit new people too. It doesn't matter. It's not building up one upon the other because every time we do the work, we are in the fullness of it. We don't take first step for beginners, second one, no. All of us go right away to the full work, the, f the complete work. Anyhow, we will do a good work. I see that. Okay, all the best. Yes. I want to say something about the right order. Now it's the right time to say something about that. There is a hierarchy in every system, in every relationship is a hierarchy. That means some come first, others come second, third, and so on. And in every system, everybody has his or her own right place. And the own right place is a place of strength. Now, in our society, see, our society has taken a very special development. Western civilization, Western culture, has taken a very special development, and I call that a development of individuation. That means the individual places himself first. And that has far-reaching effects of development, of course, of Western civilization. That is a necessary step in the development of mankind, of course. The originally, the small groups of people living together, there everybody has its right place. And uh, they started at the bottom and they ended up on the top with the co in the course of time, see, because others came behind them, others in front of them left, and so all the time they were at the right place within their group. And there were, were no competitions. Nobody could say, now I come first. No, everybody remained in its own place. And in this group, nobody could be excluded. It was unthinkable that they say, now we, we chase you away. It's unthinkable. All belonged together, all had the same right to be there, and all had the right place. Now later on, then some said, well, I'm better. I take a higher rank. So they, they strengthened their ego and they took the liberty to be different. And that set up a motion, a movement of individualism. And that's where we are at present, you see. And uh, of course this movement is also a movement of the spirit mind. It belongs to, to the movement of towards a greater consciousness. But now we pay the price for that. And my vision is that we keep this development and go further by recapturing what has been lost. Now these basic laws of everybody has the same right to belong and everybody has his own right place, it's only one place. This has been completely forgotten. It's out of our consciousness. Now I bring it back. And that is Helling a Scientia.
That's my great insight, that we can bring that back, and now we can connect what has been separated. I'll go into details. The first thing is, of course, everybody has the same right to belong. And we could see that here, none of the children could be excluded. As soon as one is excluded, everything is in turmoil immediately, you see. But it's very common that we exclude people within the family. And it goes very far, very far. Abortion is something obvious, you see, that it is. A miscarriage often is the same as an abortion, has the same effect as an abortion. But uh, if there's just a miscarriage, that child belongs. It has to be acknowledged that it belongs. There's no guilt involved that's happening. And we see that in the kind of work we do here, for instance, as Sophie was just showing, you see. We see that some have a twin brother or twin sister that was not born. But in the beginning of the pregnancy, there were two or even three. And suddenly it turns up there are more. I had an example. There was a woman who said she has two daughters, twin daughters, and the one becomes anorectic, and then she gets better, and the other one becomes anorectic. So I said representatives for the two girls, and they were so sad, and they looked at the floor, and I placed another woman in between them. Suddenly their faces slid up, and they embraced very, very uh, intimately. And I said to the woman, there must be another child. Yes, she said, they were drillings. And one of them died in the womb. And there we could see the effect. All who were there belonged there always. Now, it goes even further. Oh, there's abortion, there are miscarriages. They all belong. They're part of the family. Now, a woman told me she has two sons, and afterwards she suddenly felt there is another child that wants to be born, a girl. And she was afraid to get pregnant, so she had herself sterilized. From the reaction of the youngest boy, it's very clear that child belongs to who? Belongs to the family. Anyhow, the exercise we did here, that's very, very useful for many. And in fact, we could do a little exercise before we have the break. You close your eyes. And you go into your own family at the place where you think it is the right one, you see. And so you are called the firstborn, you say yes, you feel as a you go at the first place. Or you're at the second born, you go at the second place. And you allow yourself to feel how that feels on that place you are used to in the family. And if you feel that you get restless, that you, that you begin to sway, that you're not at your right place, you find out by feeling who else must be there and where is your 
own right place. Where do you feel your full strength? Where do you really feel grounded? Okay. Some of you may feel better. Some of you may have been afraid to let go of their first place. Well, they say, better first and unhappy than lower and happy. Okay, now we meet again at 3 o'clock and we continue with this kind of work in the afternoon.